In this problem, we have torsional loading of a shaft. What we see are three external torques applied to this rod or this shaft at locations A, B, and C. And the question is asking us, what is the internal torque B, C? So some slice in between B and C in units of Newton meters. Well, we see that external equilibrium has already been completed for us in the form of this equation. And once again, we may not need external equilibrium depending on the slice we choose to take. So with our method of slices, we'll go ahead and in this case, use the cover-up method to remove C. Is this the simplest way to do it? Maybe not, because just like we've seen in bars, if I were to cover up the left portion, and I'm calling this region over here the left portion, then I would just have a torque C and I have an internal torque BC. Nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and cover up the right section. Now, when you have this slice here, we ask ourselves the question, what direction should I consider positive for a torque that I might have internally. And the general rule or the convention I like to suggest that we follow following Hibbler's work is that we say it's positive coming out of this face. So we can draw a plus Z. Notice this plus Z is in the opposite direction of the plus Z used for the external equilibrium calculations. That is fine. We just got to make sure we just need to make sure that when we look at the particular diagram on which we're doing equilibrium, we're consistent with that coordinate system. And then the equations that we get will be consistent with each other because that algebra doesn't know about these diagrams directly, at least. So to define an, an internal torque following this convention, we look and we say, oh, okay, I'm using the right-hand rule around that and coming out, see? And so TBC is defined as being positive in this orientation. So if I were looking at it from the A side, okay, uh, this TBC would be in the same direction as TC, okay, that we see here, and it would be in the clockwise direction if I'm looking down it. Now, we do the algebra, and then we have a minus TA, all right, because that's in the minus direction relative to this plus Z. And TB is in the positive direction, and once again, TBC is in the positive direction. And we can rearrange to find TBC is equal to TA minus TB. And when we substitute our parameters, so 8 newton meters and 19 newton meters, we're going to get uh, minus 11 newton meters. Now, this may seem kind of silly, but I'm going to go ahead, if you haven't been watching the other videos, and if you already have, you can stop at this point, but I'll go ahead and implement this simple statement in Python. We'll once again start by an import numpy as mp. We'll run that cell either by control enter or hitting that. We'll create another cell and again you don't have to create an, a new one, a new notebook uh, or a new script for every one of these problems. But uh, if you do, this is how you might, might follow that. So what was FA? FA was 8 newton meters. And oh, what did I do? That's not how I should really call it. I say TA now is 8, and we'll call it newton meters. And we'll call TB. Whoopsie, it even knows I might have wanted to do that. Oops. OK, no, it was 19. Newton meters. Okay, and then we'll have TBC is equal to TA minus TB. And you're like, why are we doing this? Again, this is just to give us a little bit more experience in how to write these expressions and solve them in Python. Later on, when we're in some problems, not all of them, when we have a number of parameters or we need to do more complex calculations like using linear algebra on a truss, uh, these examples may be just useful in helping us 
and remember how to approach these problems. Okay, so once again, we see that T subscript BC is equal to minus 11 newton meters. Thank you.